And I, I wonder sometimes if we truly understand the magnitude of what happened at Golgotha. Here we have a father, and not just any father. We have a father who is God, who is perfectly pure, who is perfectly holy, and who loves his son perfectly. And he has a perfectly sinless son, not like we have or we are to our fathers. A perfect son. He loves this son perfectly, and the son loves him perfectly. Absolutely innocent. And then he butchers this son in body and soul on the cross of Golgotha to spare us. I cannot wrap my mind around it. He basically beats his son to death on that cross, and what happened to him in body was nothing to what he put him through in soul. I read this past week of a poor girl in the Netherlands in her 20s, and she's going to be euthanized because she has such horrendous depression and anxiety that she, her doctor told her, there's nothing I can do. You will always be like that. And that poor girl is so hopeless that she's now taking this tragic step of being euthanized by the formerly reformed Dutch government. She is so desperate because her soul pain is so excessive that she cannot live with it anymore. Now multiply that by a billion. And then to the billionth power. And then you're not even close to what the Father put Christ through on the cross. For us, the perfect Father. It is hard enough for me to bring a bunny to the vet to be euthanized, to relieve it of its pain. It, it causes me soul pain. And here you have God the Father who loved his Son and still loves his Son uh, so far more than any love that has ever been in the universe. And he beats his son to death in body and soul to atone for our sins. That we still, even as believers who claim the name of Christ, commit every day in such a cavalier way that it's almost scary. I'm just telling you these things because it's so easy to become immune against the gospel. Oh, again the gospel. Oh, I heard it so many times. Yeah, Christ died for our sin. Move on, move on. Pull another rabbit out of the top head. I want to see something spectacular from this pulpit. No, the gospel is the most spectacular thing. 